How to prevent hair loss for women and create thicker, fuller, and more lustrous hair. Hey, I'm Sophie and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my guest room where I uh, do tons of videos. Actually, you get a video if you're subscribed to me almost every week, tips, tools, tricks, inspiration, uh, ranging from all manner of topics from nutrition to beauty to the whole nine yards. And really my intention is to help you to stay healthy, well, and feeling your most gorgeous self as the years go by. Now, one of the top, I would say, complaints I get about from women or, or worries, concerns I get, is about thinning hair. I think it goes together with weight gain, belly fat, and thinning hair. It's like, oh no, right? After a certain age. It's, and, it, and it can be younger. It can be perimenopause, menopause, and, and beyond when we start you know, finding these these uh, these symptoms, or we start um, um, you know experiencing these symptoms. Um, by the way, if uh, weight loss is an issue for you, if you're stuck on your weight loss and your wellness journey, be sure to watch my masterclass, my free masterclass. I'll pop a link for it underneath this video. Um, I take a very holistic approach to everything, including hair loss. So hair loss as with any sort of aspect of your beauty really does begin from the inside out. And it begins with eating a really, really good diet full of healthy fats, such as nuts, seeds, avocados, etc., and tons and tons of flooding your body full of fresh fruits and veggies and a really varied um, sort of um, choices every single day because all those different colors in the different veggies have uh, different compounds in them for your beauty, literally for your skin and your hair. So I really wanted to start there. Now, the other thing that can really affect hair loss is stress. And a lot of people have been very, very stressed out recently. The stress levels are really ramping up and that also can not be our best friend when it comes to hair loss. And also there's hormones as well. And you may have found that, you know, as you're going into perimenopause, menopause, etc., suddenly it's like, oh my gosh, all this hair is dropping out on my pillow. And what am I going to do? Um, so that's another thing, hormones. And, uh, there, and there's other conditions as well, you know, very particular conditions, which I'm not going to go into in this video, certain health conditions and, you know, thyroid also can play a part. But what I want to do in this video is just give you some really quick tips and sort of tricks. And I want to show you some products that I think could really help you. So stick around to the end so you don't miss anything. I'm going to make it quick and get to the point. So point number one, and this is really important, is and actually my hairstylist told me this, is if you don't wash your hair every day, if you leave your hair maybe like three days or even four days, and then you wash it, and you're like, oh my gosh, and you brush out your hair and you're like, what has happened? Either in the shower, in the drain, or in your brush or your comb, you see all this hair. It's very often because you haven't washed your hair. It sounds obvious, but when my hairstylist told me that, I'm like, oh yes. The only time I've really like seen like, wow, there's a lot of hair in my brush is, you know, when I haven't washed my hair, maybe for four days. So just keep that in mind because we don't want to sort of go into freak out mode. You know, we really want to, you know, there, a, a nat there is a natural amount of hair loss that you're going to get, you know, as you get older. And just because you're seeing quite a lot of hair, you know, in the comb, in the brush, on the pillow, that's natural. It's natural hair loss. And obviously, if you haven't washed your hair for four days, you're going to see more. Now, when you are washing after you, you wash your hair and you get out of the share, shower, use a really good, I love this brush. You've heard of wet brushes, you know, and you can get those are really inexpensive at the drugstore or whatever, department, uh, the uh, big box store. But this particular brush um, by Lange is one that I have fallen completely in love with. I literally have to kind of go everywhere with it. And it's something about the distribution of the bristles and it's sort of um, bendy. And so it literally just a two or three strokes and my hair, which is quite relatively thick, it doesn't pull at my hair. It doesn't drag at my hair. And it just feels like it's the right tension to get what needs to come out, those stray hairs out without sort of ripping at my hair. So if it's not a lounge brush, make sure that you're very mindful and you found a brush that you absolutely love for sort of detangling. Now, the second thing is let's talk about your scalp. All right. So 
we want a really nice clean scalp you know if you have dandruff if you have build up on your scalp then that's not going to be your best friend when it comes to reducing hair loss you really want to get in there and increase that blood flow get rid of all the dead skin cells that's step number one so i found this absolutely brilliant brilliant little um little thing i just actually bought another one as a gift for somebody because i'm so in love with it so uh, it is called, I'll put a link underneath, the Heater, um, or Hater, but I'm saying Heater, uh, Hair Scalp Massage Shampoo Brush. And it is silicone, right? So it's not like a nasty hard plastic, it's silicone. You will fall in love with it. It's really easy to use because you can just put, you know, hook it into your fingers like this. And it gives you this amazing <laughs> scalp massage. It's like everyone in my family is obsessed with it now. You literally can't live without it. So you can use it every single time you wash your hair just by virtue of massaging your scalp and getting increasing the blood flow is going to do you a lot of favors when it comes to minimizing you know long term hair loss you've got to get that blood flow going and it does double duty because it also um will get rid of the the you know the dandruff or the flakiness on your scalp which you want to get rid of now even better what is a wonderful idea you might have seen on some of my other videos i have a video on a scalp treatment for hair loss now i have to say a lot of people have emailed me or left comments comments and say they've tried it so do look at that video because i go into detail on it and it works people are like oh my gosh i was experiencing hair loss and my hair is growing back so do try that diy because it really does work but just the shorthand for it here right here and now is two ingredients peppermint essential oil you need real pure peppermint essential oil and coconut oil now coconut oil oil i don't recommend for your diet it is not a miracle food it is saturated fat not a good idea especially if you're on your weight loss journey contrary to what some people might tell you not a good idea um, but it is amazing for your scalp and your hair and so what you could do is you could pop about a couple of teaspoons of coconut oil in the palm of your hand be very careful if you're in the shower because it gets really greasy and i do not want you falling so you might mix this up before you get in the shower you could do it like in a little tiny shot glass or something and then you want to pop in some drops you know maybe if it's a couple of teaspoons of um of coconut oil you might want to add maybe five drops of peppermint oil but go look at that video because i really go into the exact amounts and the science there on the scalp treatment for thinning hair mix it up and then you can with your hands scoop it out massage it into your hair right when you're in the shower use this little guy to drive it in deeper hello right and it'll feel amazing your whole scalp will feel so zingy and amazing right and then you'll have to give it a good wash out because it's coconut oil you could leave it in in the video that i give you of the diy i have you leave it in it's very targeted for people who are really suffering from hair loss you would leave it in overnight but this is something that you could do just run of the mill if you're when you're first getting in the shower you wet your shower before you shampoo you're going to do this scalp treatment right so next up then let's talk about shampoo so we want to use a really um, gentle shampoo now this is a shampoo line that i found at target very inexpensive and if you haven't already seen them i've got some really great uh tar um, target haul videos for beauty and skincare products um, but anyway this brand sukin is available there it's incredibly clean green beauty um you know cruelty free all of that and it's literally their hydrating shampoo and hydrating conditioner which will not strip your hair so if you've got done the coconut oil treatment you will need probably to do a couple of shampoos if you do a couple of shampoos shampoos and you want to use a really gentle shampoo such as this one okay so now let's move on to you shampoo so you've done your beautiful scalp you've done your shampoo now you're out of the shower what are you going to do well the next thing you're going to do is you're going to probably want to put in a leave-in conditioner because a leave-in conditioner is we want our hair to be you know we're dealing with the scalp first right but then we want to what what we have got of our hair we want to be healthy as healthy looking as possible healthy hair looks like thick hair to me even if your hair's a little bit on the thinner side and you're losing you want it 
it to look healthy and nourished because then it'll always look beautiful even if it's a bit on the thin side so i recommend a detangler and conditioner kind of a two-in-one this one also available at target and various health food stores by pacifica it is beautiful it is their coconut milk um, um, detangle elixir it's called uh, it says rehab for naughty knots with coconut and vitamin B5. So what I would do um, is, and then there's another one here. Let me just show you. Evolve H is a brand that I really love. And this is their Smart Start Leave-In Conditioner, which also is a hair protector if you're going to be heat styling your hair. So what I would recommend is when you come out of the shower, the first thing you would do is just brush through a little bit with your really great brush your wide tooth brush or, or a comb, and then put in your detangler and then comb it through again so it really gets evenly distributed. You want it underneath as well as on top. So that is that. And then the final piece that you'll be doing um, after you know, you've know you styled your hair is you'll probably need a little serum. And I really love this serum by Bogavia because it's the weightless hair serum. And if your hair tends to be a little on the thinner side, you don't wanna weigh it down with an oily serum or a gel. It's just gonna not look good. So you might want a serum just for little flyaways. This is your go-to, the weightless serum. It's not oily at all. Now, finally, I want to show you a brand that is people uh, that I know have been trying it and they are on my team and they are like it is insane they just like I'm gonna always have to use it they love it and it's a brand which is called High L and High L is a brand that specifically targets hair loss or thinning hair and um, I don't I am lucky because I actually have quite thick hair myself um, and certainly have ha I, I always had since I've been eating the way that I've been eating over the last 10 years I think it has everything to do with diet um, but I have people on my team who don't and have really got very thin hair and they really say this is cannot live without so Hayel has a shampoo they have a hydrate mask and the, if you buy one product from Hayel, and again, links for all of these underneath the video, you might want to go for their complete recovery complex scalp treatment. And if you are really worried and upset and suffering, then I promise you that is a brand that you really, really want to look at. And this would be your first product. And then if you could afford it, if it's in your budget, then buy the other products such as the shampoo, the mask, the conditioner. And also they have an absolutely beautiful active botanical concentrate, which is actually a lovely product. I've used this because you can use it as a scalp treatment. It won't be greasy, doesn't sit in there. And also take it all the way through your hair. So it's a little bit of a serum, sort of nourishing serum as well. So High L, amazing brand. Um, so I think that is it um, for me with just giving you a few little tips on on really, I know it is worrying, I know that it is um, sort of scary when suddenly you are um, suffering, you know, a little bit more hair loss than normal or you're looking at thinning hair. Um, but remember, diet, look at all my other videos. I have hundreds of nutrition videos. Honestly, diet is king when it comes to you know healthy hair and, um, and uh, skin as well. And one other little thing that I forgot to mention is you might want to use a silk pillowcase. I find a silk pillowcase lovely. I don't think it's a magic cure for reducing you know hair loss, which some people said, oh, you won't have nearly as much. Your hair will slide across the pillow. I'm not convinced convinced with that because I'm not convinced that on a regular cotton pillowcase it rips my hair out. I'm just going to be honest there. But I will also say that I do love a silk pillowcase and it's lovely also on your face and it just feels absolutely lovely. So, you know, worry not, but do if you are, you know, experiencing thinning hair and a little bit more, you know, we have to address all those different areas as everything that I say is kind of not just one size fits all. Products are important. The practices that I've given you are really important, but also do really hang your hat on what you're doing from the from the inside out so hopefully that helps and i also have another video on how to get a thick 
full head of hair after 50. And that video you might want to look at because that has lots of recommendations for things such as hair dye, because I get loads of questions on hair dye. So before you put any questions in the comments about, Sophie, what hair dye do you use? What hair dye should we use? Whatever. Please, before you ask that question, go look at that video, because I go over all that in that video and also loads of product recommendations and hair dye recommendations. Phew. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and look out for the next many more coming your way.